Okay, this one's going to be a first in a series of troubleshooting air conditioner problems. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start out with some simple ones. I will give you the readings I have on the equipment. And you can see if you can figure it out. I'll do another video that explains what I actually did find. Those of you that are uh, experienced in this field, this is probably kind of a waste for you because a lot of these are really simple. This is primarily for students and neophytes that really don't have a lot of experience in this stuff. So, we're going to begin with the unit. You can hear it's running, the indoor fan's running, the outdoor fan's running, and we can hear the compressor running. So we know all those mechanical things are working. Okay, now, let's take a look at the gauge set. Okay, I've got this gauge set set up for uh, super heat and subcool. Here you can see my super heat is 49.5, my subcool is 2.5. I wanted to show you where I've mounted my temperature probes. Now, right here, this blue clamp, that's the one that's showing superheat. And you see my other blue clamp inside here is on the liquid line. Because my first one was on the suction line, the large line, and the uh, second one was on the little line, the liquid line coming out of the unit. So that's where I'm getting the temperatures that I'm reading my super and sub goal from. If you don't have that type of setup, I have also set up a temperature probe where I uh, put the temperature probes on the lines and I'm reading the Right now I'm reading the uh, liquid line temperature, and if I know my uh, uh, condensing temperature, my condensing temperature, I can subtract and find my subcool. And if I look at my other one, that's on the suction line. That's a suction line temperature, but I know the saturated temperature of the evaporating refrigerant, I can subtract and find it there. I put this on there, and I'll show you where the probes are hooked up. I put this on there because most people don't have something like the S-Man I showed you. It has the clamps here. A lot of people don't have that. If you get a little temperature gauge like this one, you can read them directly off, and they're pretty accurate. Okay, now you can see I have one of my temperature probes here, and I have one here. And I just use foam tape to get them tight onto the line. Okay, here you can see I've set up a dual temperature probe and I've set it up for the return and the supply across the coil. I've got 13.1 temperature drop across the coil. This is an older unit. should be 20 to 22. Okay, I believe you have everything you need. Tell me what you think is wrong with the unit. There are a couple options here, so uh, tell me what you think is wrong with the unit, and I'll have a following video that explains what it is.